For question number one, um, you said to state our overall impression of the class, and honestly, I loved our class, um, period one. It was always fun to be in. Um, everyone was always joking and laughing, and we did get behind a lot because of that, but I also mostly blamed us getting behind one Nate, and I'm pretty sure most of the people in the class do, even Nate. Uh, my favorite assignments were the Fahrenheit 451 media project and the Lamb of the Slaughter mock trial. Uh, it was super fun to do, uh, both of them because they were very creative based or creativity based. I have had a lot of favorite memories from this class. Um, one of my favorites, sorry if you don't want me saying this, but is whenever you were late and early in the morning and since we have you first period, we knew you were late. And someone said that you probably got pulled over in a joking manner. And it turns out you actually did get pulled over for speeding. Another favorite memory I have is whenever Jay wrote um, a Japanese vocab word on the board, but it actually ended up being the word gay. I just thought that was really funny. For being a teacher, you're actually very relaxed and not many things that I know of drive you crazy or make you angry at all. Some of the only ones I really know is you don't like when people talk over you or talk over others, which is pretty basic and normal, but um, you also don't like the big sad. And if you're showing this to the students next year, They'll probably understand what the big sad is soon enough, um, but you just really don't like when people have it. I don't have a favorite quote, and I don't remember any of the quotes from your board from last year, except for like the one Riley and Nate did. We wrote a whole bunch of them, but I don't remember any of them. So I went to a random quote generator online, and I clicked it a few times, and this quote popped up, so this is going to be my favorite quote. There's no such thing as soy milk. It's soy juice by Lewis Black. Um, I'm not sure if you're showing this to your kids next year or if this is just like an interview question that you just want to know, but do your schoolwork, do the work she gives you, even if it seems like it's a lot. A lot of times it is a lot of schoolwork, but she's doing it out of the kindness of her heart, and she means the best whenever she gives you the work. She's not trying to be a mean teacher or anything, and she just wants to prepare us for further in life, like college, and further beyond that. Also, don't feel like you have to, don't feel like you have to be silent in her class, but also don't talk over her. Her class is a very relaxed class, and whenever I was in her class, I felt like I could just sit there and mentally prepare and rest and relax and for the day ahead of me for other classes because of how nice her class was. Just know that whenever you're in her class, you honestly can just mentally prepare for the rest of the day whenever you're in her class. Also, this isn't an interview question, but whenever I was watching the video you gave us before this interview project, um, you said you thanked us because we gave you a good year, but I just wanted to say thank you for giving us a good year, uh, giving my period a good year, giving our grade a good year, because even after this whole uh, COVID-19 thing, you still taught us super well and you still were somehow involved with us like you found ways to connect with us even if I didn't go to any of the um, normal just class meetings I still went to the coots and they were just really fun and it was just a nice way to bring learning to us and still a nice environment even though it's away from school in the classroom